friends good afternoon good evening good morning good whatever part of the day it is for you all this thursday 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 good to see you wonderful folks hope you're staying happy healthy and safe out there good to see uh mr keith niles i missed you earlier bilbo saggins johnny bones poob rpg nerdos uh anyone else hanging out in chat hope you're having a great day uh doing a shorter intro today because we're gonna jump right in it's gonna be a shorter stream today i have my first christmas caroling gig after the stream today so we're gonna do a run run so short intro to get us right into the FTL action. The free flax will be with you always. Gosh, I hope you're right, pie boy. Last night you were watching FTL tournament from a couple years ago. It looked super cool. That was fun. We need to do it again sometime. Uh, the problem is the logistics of it are crazy. Uh, Kassalian was the one that really made that happen. So uh, let's see. Slug B was the last ship we did. And hey, that's a good one to get out. Uh, Rand's name is now purple. Is my name now purple? I didn't change the color. That's weird. So uh, we are on, like I said, we're jumping right in. We are on, currently on a streak of nine, and our last ship was a Slug B. So we're going to just jump right in, random a ship, and get this going. Not that I'm in a rush or anything, but uh, I just want to make sure I'm not feeling like I have to rush through this run, since we're only doing run one run today. So here we go. Random ship in three, two, one, and random. Zoltan C. Oh, my gosh. Uh, my own personal streak killer is what I ran him on this day. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, all right, well, I'll, I'll put the, uh, let's get the, uh, I'm going to get the prediction going right now. I'm going to start it right now because I always forget. Will Rand beat Zoltan C? Uh, yes or no? I have a feeling we're going to get a lot of no's on this one. Goodness gracious. I own Zoltan C. Oh, man, I hate this ship. But you know what? It'll get me some Zoltan uh, requests down that I know I've had. Uh, I think that I have a Zoltan C pilot request. I'm pretty sure I did. Uh, or maybe I already covered, got that one. Hold on. Let me check. Yeah, Zero G wanted to be a Zoltan pilot. I got them. Translator, Slocknog. Uh, Fed a human. Uh, Bukam want to be a Zoltan. Maybe I have all my Zoltans covered. Zoltan and engine, Zoltan pilot. Zoltan border. There's no Zoltan border here. Oh, my goodness gracious. Zoltan, see you later. I know, right? Getting a bunch of different FTL players and streamers who can play on the same day was mental, yeah. Oh, goodness. This, this is... Is this my least favorite ship to play? This might be my least favorite ship to play, to be honest. Oh my gosh, this ship sucks. Yeah, we rolled Zultan C right off the bat. Oh boy. Alright, so the reason I hate this ship so much is... Here, I'm going to save this guy here. It has offense you can't aim. You have to... It has, like, freaking no power. I mean, it has offense you can aim, but only the charge eye on the beam drone. Got, like, deep power drones. The micro on this ship is probably the worst for any ship that isn't a boarding ship, I think. Is this, this entire part of the sector is all cut off, isn't it? Five minutes in, the rock is pissed off. <laughs> I mean, I'm sh I am sure am. Uh, Patrick Stewart commands Zoltan C. But it has Zoltan Shield. That's the only redeeming quality of this ship. What's up, Select Tomo? Yes, no power, crappy weapons, weak versus boarding, weak systems. Oh, man. And what, do, like, I can't even, when I play this ship, I don't even know what I need to do first. I think I need to find a store to replace my offense before I do anything. I think finding a store to replace offense to be not terrible drones. 
Uh, I think I usually also do something like this because insta-boarding into my clone base screws this ship. So we vent this, and then if we don't have boarding, I go XZ enter. Okay. So that's, that's what we have to do, this stupid crappy ship. There's so many things that can kill you. Paint a big red cross on one side of your ship to try and lull the enemy into a false sense of security. Okay. Okay, so... X, Z, enter is what I need to do every time. We don't have boarding, I guess. Oh my god, this ship. I hate this ship so much. Oh, goodness gracious. Alright, first jump. Uh, we're not properly equipped. I know, calm and relaxed run. Let's go. <sighs> wow. Alright, well, I guess we kind of get through his Elden Shield quickly. Quicker than he gets through ours, maybe. So, X, Z, enter. Oh, he's already through. That sucks. Damn it, I screwed that up. Okay. Uh, um, crap. Okay, that's a fire in my doors. That is a nightmare. Damn it. Oh my god, this ship. I hate this ship so much. Yes! Get me- yes! Yes, take that deal. Okay. Uh... Take that deal. Holy crap, that's a great freaking deal right there. That is a great freaking deal. Oh, Jesus. Oh my god, what's up, Pain Train? This ship's got so many damn variables, it's virtually impossible to have a normal ship plan. Oh, wow, that, that could have spiraled so quickly there when power ran out and we didn't have backup battery... But that is actually a huge pickup there. So, who's the weapons guy? You're the weapons guy. You hang out in weapons with him. You hang out in engines. Now if I move you over, I don't even have to depower anything to turn on the beam drone. Okay. And then we move our uh, Devil's Ultimate to shields if we need to. Okay. Oh, whew. Okay, so, we still continue to do this because our biggest fear on this ship is still free borders. I mean, that and any ship with any kind of good offense like this freaking ship was. Uh, I need to, actually, hold on a second. I need to, I need to save this position. We need to save new positions. A free non-Zultan crew is so helpful on this ship. That basically gives you power. Get, getting to pull a Zultan out of out of engines, or out of piloting. Watch streak reached. I watch FTL's currently on a three-stream streak. Much excitement, many wow. I have no idea what that means, but okay, cool. Alright, there's a store. I mean, I have two things. This, oh, man. Are there weapons here? There aren't weapons. Four Sterling store is not that great when we don't have any scrap. You've never seen that. First time you've seen it. How did, did you make that appear? Watching streaks give you bonus cookies. Apparently so. so I can go 9, 10 if I go here. So, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 10. Uh, if you tune in every day, you get a bigger boost of bonus cookies. Is that what's happened? Pretty interesting. Which just popped up and said, I'm on a watching streak. You've never seen it mentioned on any other streams before. <laughs> you missed Wednesdays due to going into work these days. Was there more Hitman yesterday? Yes, there was. Yes, there was. This is a safe fight. Yes, Ion plus laser. This is a safe fight. Training time. Uh, and I train you there and you there. Do, 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 do. 
This is a safe fight, right? And we can get all of our training done. We can get engines, we can make, uh, I don't know if we can get shields. We can get engines, we can get weapons. We can get literally everything. Perfect, all right. This should be safe. Second jump, safe fight for training is really, really nice. I might even do some cross training here. Did I hear a sound like we took damage? This is the Zultan Sea, the uh, my, probably my number one least favorite ship in the game. Burger to play on Harmonopause anyway. I think it's ended more streaks than even burst, uh, Stealth B. Don't disrupt weapon sync and you can train shields. Okay. He knocked my weapon out one time. Okay. I need to be very careful because if you like... Ion's my O2 or something. Yeah, it keeps ironing my weapons. Uh, is a walking battery still available for naming? Yeah, I actually didn't have any YouTube requests. So... Okay, two. okay, it's fine. There's level one dodges. Sorry for this really annoying sound. But every time they eye on my weapons... I have to, uh... Once I get my engine training, I can put two Zoltans in there and that'll be fine. I don't know if I'll ever get... Jesus. Okay, whatever. I'm gonna get... Let me, let's get engine training and not weapon training, and then I can move two Zeltons in there, I think. Okay, there's engine training done. So now if I move this guy into... Wow, he just stuns me, huh? Okay, so if I do this, now weapons can't go offline. Okay. Do I want to cross-train anybody? Um, yeah, we can cross-train you on shields, I guess. Weapon training might be the most valuable thing to get here, to be honest. Uh, at least there's a chance to knock it out early in the streak. True, true. You want to be the rock? All right, sure thing, Cantonin. There's weapons, Max. Do I care about cross-training? You know, I kind of... I do kind of care about cross-training a bunch of Zeltons on engines if I lose any Zeltons. So... Phillips has, has engine training. Will is working on shields. Let's have, um... Let's have Will. Hold on a second. I need to be very careful about moving my crew around here. Because this ship sucks. This guy has no training. We're going to cross-train him on engines is what we're going to do. Yes, let's do that. Every time I see weapons go offline, I'll... Well, I guess uh, this guy we can cross-train on weapons there just to get a little bit of cross-training. I know, this is boring. This is boring, but this ship sucks. We do every little tiny thing we can do that gives us an advantage. The streak killer, we do not speed run. The streak killer does not get speed ran. I forgot to auto fire. Don't forget to O2 crew kill these suckers. I'll try to remember to do that. They keep taking my weapons offline. Annoying. Okay, there's engines. How close is this guy on secondary weapon training? He's getting close. So how do I O2 crew kill? I guess I... 
We have two people in shields, two people in weapons. We just auto fired an O2, and that should do it if I'm not mistaken. Although, with the charge on effect stack enough for a crew kill with O2 targeted, does it not charge fast enough? It's always really weird. Um, I'm gonna just turn this on and see what happens. With full weapon training. I don't know if it'll ever actually proof to come this way. What I can do is I can go go to sensors right now. I think the longest streak ever was killed by this ship. I think two of my 24 streaks were killed by this ship, if I'm not mistaken. Um, can you all see the O2? Let me see. It turned blue or is that gray? Does that mean it's level one or level O2? I watch FTL knows this better than I do. I think it's easy to have faith in Rand because he's the top dog of FTL. It's widely accepted that no one's better at the game. That's not true, Dark Phoenix. Uh, it's widely accepted that uh, Hollow is the best at FTL. I'm a distant, like, 7th or 8th, probably. Maybe further down below than that, because I'm just talking about people who have done the Harmon Opage streak. I don't know if this is going to work. I might need a beam drone hit. Pro is the number one. Yeah, honestly, I might be even lower than 7th or 8th because there's a lot of people who haven't done no pause streaks who have completed the with pause cycle. Is this going to work or not? Full charge. I think I might have to do something like uh, go back and forth. Is it the 3 1 3 1 thing? Okay. So what is what is three one three one? I watch FTL. Is it is that pointed at O two or is that three in shields one at O? What is how do you do that? Tell me how to do that because you've told me before. I don't remember. O two crew kill is a three full charge, then one shot, then three full charge. But where? What am I shooting at? O two every time? Everything at O two. Okay. Well, and they have to hit. Oh, not a great start. I don't think I'm gonna have the patience for this. I mean, I did all this training. I have to. How many? How many times in a row does that have to work? How many times in a row do I have to hit every shot? Is my question. Um, Hollow's longest streak ever also died to this ship. Was it really? I don't doubt it. Been enjoying my playlist on YouTube. Have you noticed the sound sometimes goes out of sync? Is that on your end? It's on YouTube, and I don't know. It shouldn't be on your end, but I, I, I am. Uh, as unlikely as it might sound, I am not a YouTube or Twitch technician, so I have no answer to questions like that. People ask me, Rand, why does my the internet connection stopped working. I don't know, you should call your ISP because I am not a tech supervisor. Uh, I, I don't know why your sound would go out, out of sync on YouTube sometimes. I don't know if that's something that's happening through Twitch that gets uploaded to YouTube or something. What's up, Dark Fawful? What's up, Mike? Hopefully you get good runs, especially good luck with this one. I, I can only do one run today because I have my first Carolyn Christmas Christmas Carolyn gig of the season, so I really hope it's a good one. Can I explain how airplanes fly? Yes, it's called the Bernoulli effect. I actually do know about that because there's some singing applications. Um, differentials and air pressure cause lift or suction force. For singing, your vocal cords, when you f put air through them, it sucks them together. And it's the same as a airplane wing. Uh, pressure differential causes lift under the wing, just like pressure differential causes your vocal cords to come together when you go, huh, huh. It's the Bernoulli effect. I learned that in college. So there you go. That's how an airplane flies. The Bernoulli effect. Something like that. That's, that loses my training for a second there. This might actually work. We've had a couple of multi-hits here. He is getting pinker, giggity. 
Damn it, I think I needed that one to hit. <sighs> Fucking hell, man. Tip my damn weapons, which slows down our train, our uh, hitting, our. I can't talk. That reminds me, as of earlier this week, your VOD of Hitman with Ave Maria didn't get DMCA'd. Oh, really? Did they pull that DMCA off? Thank God. So stupid. Uh, was it Ave Maria? It wasn't Ave Maria. Well, okay. Yeah, there was one with Ave Maria. There was a one. There was one before that with opera singing and the Italian one that was DMCA'd. So, but that's good. At least the Ave Maria one wasn't. Is there a base accuracy or a way to increase accuracy? Not in vanilla FTL. There is in mods though. How frustrating would it be as the captain of that Mantis ship right now? Sure. We don't care about the pain of AI. They cheat so much there is no pain that is too great for the AI of FTL. Yeah, if this wasn't Zoltan C, I would have given up like 20 minutes ago. Although we haven't even been here for 20 minutes. Still. Uh, it turns out the problems with the screen captures audio settings. In any case, keep on. What? The screen captures audio settings. Are you talking about my settings, Alma Fortis? I don't understand. Is playing when you faked being a dead body the secret society meeting? Yeah, yeah, I, I know what you're talking about now. It took me a second to think, but yes, I do remember that. And me talking about DMCA maybe hitting it because... Because of DMCA BS. Alright, we got it. We got there. Alright, that was probably worth... It's not a weapon I'm just dying to have on my ship, but that is good scrap worth of pickup right there. Thank you for the reminder. Okay, who is the rock name? Cantonun, and somebody wanted to be a Zoltan, I think. Was there a request for Zoltan? Uh, whoever wanted to be a Zoltan, spend your cookies, because I don't remember who it was. Uh, with an extra ion, now we can O2 crew kill every other ship. Yeah, because I'm just going to spend all of my scrap to get an ion blast Mark II on with my charge ion. <laughs> Spoiler alert, I'm not actually going to do that. Although I might need to upgrade to use Ion Blast Mark II. I don't know if I should, though. That doesn't seem that good. Nicely done, well worth it. I hope it turns out to be worth it, for sure. I didn't prevent my rooms. Okay. Weird delay there. Good dodge. Oh man, good hit. Good hit. Oh, I thought they hit shields. I guess it didn't. Nice, nice. Didn't even give him a chance to board. Beautiful. Beautiful fight. I forgot to do this. I need to prevent jumping into a nebula where it could have been free humans and clone bay was a mistake. That was an absolute mistake. I needed to prevent clone bay. Thank you for the 18 months of prime subage, BJ. I missed that earlier. Sorry about that. Uh, BJA, you want to be... You just say me, so I assume that's Annie Zoltan. BJA69. What a good jump. This ship must be very strong. <laughs> yeah, this ship must be really good and stuff. It must be really good. So, I've seen a store, Sector 1, already. What do I do? What do I upgrade? Do I work towards shields now that I've seen one store, or do I hope I see a second store and save my scrap? You think keep saving how much FTL? There are lots of Zoltans available, CS. So yes. Just spend the cookies and I'll get you in. I'm Garcia. I'm Garcia. I'm assuming Dark Popple's gonna request. Hope we can get artillery, sure. Oh, Foth, you wanna be Foth, okay. My copy says there are several options. Your approach is generally save everything for stores. Okay, all right. Uh, that seems to be the consensus, and that's kind of what I want to do, but I just kind of want validation from Twitch chat that that is what I'm supposed to be doing. Whatever. Okay, Kovirs says whatever. That's the last one I have. Hey, carefully cut the ship out. Hey, <laughs> oh my gosh, a double beam drone. All right, uh, whatever. There you go, Kobeers. Whatever, you're my weapons guy. Well, that's interesting. Now we have an option of using two drone parts per fight and running out even faster. Probably shouldn't do that. 
but <laughs> we've gotten a free ion and a free second beam drone. If our first store has a drone recovery arm, I know what FTL is trying to make me do. Will I do it? I don't know if I'm going to be debated into that, but who knows. Six, five, four, three. So I have a choice, choice of seeing this one or this one and be able to, being able to get it without uh, backtracking. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go here to see if that's a store. If it is... We'll do some roundabout way to get it, but I'm hoping it's not, and that this one is. Close as you get to winning a hard FTL game with no pause, no less, <laughs> by being on the ship, huh? The recovery armor is 50. Uh, I forget the cost of it. Oh my god, he's running. Forward scout, rebel rigger, fucking running away. Am I doing another run after this one? Nope, only one run today, because I'm Christmas caroling today. XZ, enter. Oh, come on. Hit anything from an empty room, but an empty room, you shitty piece of shit. Okay, that's great that you hit the weapons room there. We need the pilot pulled. Okay, the pilot is pulled. Thank God. God damn it. I, the, I think the number one reason I hit the, hate this ship... Oh my God. ...is not the low power. It's the fucking unaimable offense. I think that is my number one thing I hate about this fucking ship. Low power sucks, but unaimable offense is just the absolute effing worst. A goddamn beam drone that hits an empty jump when an empty room when an enemy's running away or has double missiles. Like the unaimable offense. Oh, I just absolutely hate this ship. Unaimable offense, man. I better refresh you, even though you have some training. You must learn to talk to your drums like that. Okay. Cobears and Gary, did you guys watch um, The Voice, I think is his name, yesterday? He threw the easiest Mantis B one you could ever have. The Voice, huh? You were there. He blamed it on getting hacked instead of cloaking, but I don't think that was the reason. Huh. Another FTL streamer. What, did he get, like, crap tons of free stuff or something? That's weird, because artillery is unaimable, but easily the best and strongest system. Yes, yeah, for memeing. That's true. If I don't see a second store, do I start investing my scrap on something? I don't know. Yes, I probably shouldn't be so mean to my drones. I just, I... This game, man, this game does it to me. What do I hate more? Zoltan B or Z? Z by a hundred times. Zoltan B is not a bad ship, Maurice. It's actually a pretty good ship. Zoltan B is actually a pretty darn good ship. This is another ship we're immune to, so if there were a way to kill him without using a drone part, I'd probably do it. He threw because he hacked the wrong stuff. It was an easy win, but it was good content to see him try to dissect the boss, huh? Chat needs to remember that not every streamer has a PhD in FTL. <laughs> well, I mean... I've gotten a free beam drone, a free ion blast mark two, and a free live form scanner. For a start of a Zoltan C, as much as I'm, you know, yelling at my drones and stuff, I can't argue with this start. Oh, and a store. If that store has weapons that are good, this could actually be an amazing sector one for this ship. Oh, please be a store with flak one heavy heavy laser one. That would be so amazing. Yeah, life form scanner. Now we never need a slug pilot. Okay, double reward. That's like a tri I call that triple reward when they give two instances of a reward and then a crew weapon or uh, augment with it. One, one, two, three, four, five. I'm waiting though. I'm still gonna min max here. You just joined. This must be Zoltan C. Yes, this is the worst. <laughs> is it the worst ship in the game? For me, it might be. I probably Zoltan B is probably less consistent, but this ship has some of the. Worst microwing you have to do, and ridiculous strategies to play around. Ah, this ship is such a pain in the ass. Okay. X to Z. Okay, no boarding.
Oh, that's so good that we got that. First laser two offline. Say what crap you want about the stealth B. Dies to so many things. But at least you can aim your damn weapons. At least you can choose what goes offline. Alright, that's pretty awesome. Free repair is really good. At least you can aim a glaive beam. It might take forever and you might die before you shoot it, but at least you can aim the damn thing. <laughs> you can aim it, but can you charge it? Now, we don't talk about that around here. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Uh, am I planning on playing WoW Seasons of Discovery? Uh, I don't know. Jerk, uh, jerk dap. I don't know. I do plan on playing, um, whatever it's called. The thing I've talked about a lot of times that my brain can't think of right now. Uh, hardcore, uh, classic at some point. Not sure about Seasons of Discovery. Yeah, this ship has no power, basically. Okay, no boarding. This is a- oh, this is a beam master. This fight is safe. As long as he doesn't have a boarding drone. Watch him have a boarding drone, though. Um, how much longer is my backup battery lasting? Plenty long. Okay, so this is not a good enough deal. Piracy can never forgive, be forgiven. Unless you had give me more money. Then it will be forgiven. Then all will be forgiven. Good fight, good fight. You have not paid the correct amount of money for me to forgive you. What are you talking about? This ship has three free power, yes. Uh, Stealthy is probably better with no pause than Zoltan C from the micro you need to do with this ship from what I can see. Well, the thing the thing with Zoltan uh, Stealth B is whether you're pausing or not pausing, there's just so many ships that can outright kill you on Stealth B. I've, there's probably fewer ships that can just outright kill you before you ever get to do anything on this ship, but this ship, just the micro and the the pain of moving power around, timing your weapons, where you move your crew. Damn it. No weapons, man. Stealth C is better than this. Stealth C is so much better than this. I actually kind of like Stealth C because it has fast weapons that you can aim. Pre-ignite, charge weapon. Yeah, these, we have two of the worst weapons in the game to pre-ignite. These are literally... Literally one weapon that only pre-ignites the first charge. For those of you who don't know in FTL, charge weapons do not work well with pre-igniter because it only charges one. And Ion Blast, which is the fastest charging weapon in the game. So this is literally the worst weapon system in the game I could pre-ignite. Uh, yeah, it's probably hacking, to be honest. All the crap I'm talking about, I probably just buy hacking. I'm just trying to decide what I sell. There's a way around. That's true, I could Masala Maneuver. But I think Masala Maneuvering a Charge Ion with my starting build sounds... I mean, I guess I could. Is it any good? Oh man, the micro sounds like a pain in the ass. No Postrika stuff, which brings you back. Well, glad to have you back, Maurice. You're not suggesting I buy it. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm acting like I'm ever going to do anything else, but we always do this. Um, question is, do I sell anything here? Because what am I doing next? I still need weapons that don't suck, right? Do I sell a second beam drone? What if I do get a drone recovery arm? Uh, am I ever going to use two beam drones? If I get a drone recovery arm, I might. If I did one weapon upgrade and one drone upgrade, I could have Ion Blast Mark II plus double beam drones if I have drone recovery arm. I'm not saying I want to do it. 
But if I see no good weapons, that might be the build I have to go. Step to Lotro. If I don't buy free igniter, I'll get a free glaive within three jumps. If I buy it, FTL kills you within three jumps. Feels okay, man. Okay. It requires so specific stuff to make it happen. Yeah, but the thing is, if you are playing FTL at the highest level, you cannot play around what you want to happen. You have to play around what you find and what FTL throws at you. So the question is, if I sell Beam Drone right now, what could I do? I could get second shield. I can't power it except when backup batteries online. So it might be worth doing it for the second shield. Does upgrading weapons for Ion Blast Mark II help us? It's another thing to consider. I, I feel like going into Sector 2, I don't want to invest into Ion Blast 2 yet. Question would be, do you need to sell something now in order to get ready for Sector 3? Mike Copley asked the important question. That's And that's what I'm thinking about right now. I don't need to sell anything going into Sector th uh, 2. We're only going into Sector 2, right? Or are we going into Sector 3? We're only going into Sector 2. I don't think I sell anything right now. Because if there's a Sector 2 store that has... Like, if we get free drone recovery arm next jump, and I sell a beam drone, I might have just weakened my potential build. Lifeform scanner necessary. It's not necessary, but again, what am I selling it for? I could get second shield. That's like the only thing I consider worth selling it for. I'm going to do nothing. I'm going to wait till we see a second sector store before I make any big decisions yet. Could you hit the weapons like one time beam drone? That would be great. Fuck you, FTL. What the hell? Come on. Come on, finish him. Hit it. Do, do two hit, please. No, god damn it. Oh, fuck you! Okay, or we could just get a free Hermes missile out of nowhere. That's That could be useful. Honestly, the amount of free stuff we've got in this run is kind of ridiculous, and I'm grateful for it. I think the question of do I need to sell anything only becomes relevant if you don't see a store in Sector 3. Even then, you should have enough scrap or potentially ahead enough. You're even tempted to buy a power bar. Yeah. Your beam drone really hates their teleporter, huh? Well, it didn't hate it enough to stop him from boarding, sadly. I forgot to do this. In case we had free boarding that run, I need to focus up here. Did I... I fixed the only breach in our ship. Okay, good. I could upgrade my weapons to make Hermes usable. Is there any reason to keep Lifeform Scanner with this ship? There is potentially a blue option with Lifeform Scanner. I think there's at least one. So if I'm not buying anything by selling it, then the reason is for the potential blue option. I think there might be a blue option in a nebula with lifeform scanner if I'm not mistaken and I had a nebula jump right after the store so that would be my defense for keeping it uh, the game doesn't know what it wants this ship to be uh, that question especially when you already have hacking you've got an extra safety button that could be deployed in any fight how expensive is reactor power 30 yeah it can also be helpful to see where the crew is yeah you think blue Platform scanner has three blue options, but that's only a guess, okay? Well, these are two of the worst choices. Uh, one to two stores in both of these sectors. <sighs> Where am I more likely to get free borders? 
Uncharted Nebula with free humans, pirate controlled. What I will say is pirate controlled is more likely to have, um, what is it called? Hazards, right? And solar flares and asteroid fields are two of our scariest things right now. My copy just checked. There are three uh, life form scanner blue options. Well done, Pyboy. Well done. I think I go uncharted here. I have a lot of fuel. What's the punish for uncharted? Bunch of auto scouts. What's up, Daniel? Uh, how are we doing? We're playing probably my least favorite ship to play in Harmon No Pause, but we're live and we had a Sector 1 with a lot of free stuff, so... Up and down, I'll say. Up and down is what I'll say for, for how I'm doing. So our only chance at non-Nebula store is this jump and this jump. We only have two chances at having a second store. Yep, Zelton C. Autoscots are kind of good for us. They can't board and they can't dodge out of beams. Could be. It's potentially good. Can I see every jump this sector? I feel like I should be. Uh, this jump over here. This jump is isolated. This only connects to the exit beacon. And the Uncharted could give me one of those uh, life form scanner blue options. So let's let's do uh, results based analysis and say keeping the life form scanner was worth if. I get a blue option from it. Oh, man. Man. What a shitty store. But hey, we got a bonus store. We actually got a bonus store. But it's a piece of shit store with no weapons. <sighs> Funny enough, uh, Pirate Sector could give you one of those blue options, too. Now, now I might consider selling something, but I have one guaranteed Nebula store this sector, so maybe I don't do it yet. Has Clone Bay? Wait, what? Oh, no, we're in Nebula with Clone Bay, that's true, so it would get manly search. I'm not sure how likely that is in an Uncharted Nebula. But it's a bonus store. You're so lucky. I know, I'm so lucky. A bonus store that is basically an empty jump. What could be better? Ah, uh, do I still do nothing? Do I buy fuel? Do I sell this Hermes? Do I get explosive replicator to use Hermes? Oh uh, man, I don't know what I should do right now. Uh, no, I'm not repairing to fall right now. Why not sell on the Ion Blast 2? I might use it. What am I buying if I sell it? Ship upgrade, you might say, but our main goal in Sector 1 and 2 on this ship is get offense that isn't the starter offense. And by the end of this sector, if I get a free drone recovery arm, I might be using Charge Ion plus Ion Blast Mark II for my offense. Uh, I'm going to buy two fuel. That's what I'm going to do, because we're in a nebula. And I might not find another store. Oh my god, man. I'm trying to be better about not snap selling stuff when I don't know what my build is going to be. Old Rand would have sold, like, everything but, I don't know, Charge On or Ion Blast in hopes that we're finding a flak in the next store. But I don't know what my build's going to be. And if I make hard decisions about selling something that limits my options, I think I'm just hard misplaying in Harbo No Boss. Maybe not hard misplaying, but anything you do that takes away options, you you gotta you gotta you gotta think. You gotta think. It's hard it's hard to know what the right thing to do is. God fucking damn it, game. If I limit my what options, the actual fuck? I might make the choice that disables me from winning the run. You know. You think that's a good mindset change? I appreciate that, Mike. I'm trying to be more flexible in my play. What's better, two beam ones or beam one plus fire drone? Well, beam one plus fire drone is a five power uh, drone control, so it's more expensive. Thank you, Mike. I really appreciate your positivity. 
So my only goal this sector is to find a store and pray to RN Jesus that it has weapons. That are not crap. Or a drone recovery arm. Like, I, this, this might be a drone recovery arm run with the way it's looking right now. If you have a good feeling about this run, please don't. Please don't have a good feeling. Because that's when we lose. Be like me and assume FTL is going to F you in the A every single jump. I might want to... If I have any safe fights, like this... this No, this wasn't a safe fight. That was an Ion. I might want to consider not using a drone part and just killing with a Hermes. If we have it. certain fights. You have a horrible sinking feeling. Good. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> That's helpful. Please, continue your horrible sinking feeling. So we can balance out the, um, the jinxing. I have a bad feeling about this Rand solo. <laughs> Never tell me the odds. I think especially on a weird ship like this, keeping options open in the first two to three sectors can be important. Yeah. All right. Still no store. Or second store. No. We have a guaranteed store... 99 point something percent of the time. Mike, was it you that figured out that there's a point zero something percent chance that no store spawns in an Abula or something? So as long as we don't have that point zero whatever percent chance, we should have a store this sector. Talking about the jinx, jinx is you unless you talk about talking about it. All right, let's talk about the talking about of the talking jinx. Did I time that right? Yes, I think that's the best timing. I still could have turned that on slightly sooner. Although, timing, well, figuring out when to turn the beam drone off, I feel it uh, on for the first uh, first time. It can be tough too because you don't know where the drone's going to spawn and how long it's going to take to move to be in position to fire, I feel like. Is that a good deal? The drone part. Slow scrap, some fuel, nah. Not a bad deal though. We got three extra scrap for me not taking that deal. Well, results based analysis says I should have taken that deal. Uh, you'd save the Hermes ammo for next sector in case we need to smash their shields for Beamy Boy. Okay. The odds of finding no stores are 496 over 5. And how many jumps can you do the Kessel Run? Less than 12 parsecs. She's fast enough for you all. She's fast enough for you, old man. That was horrible. Let me do that again. There's about a 2.5% chance of degenerate map, meaning that at least the store probabilities are worse. You know it's not you know it's not good for the entertainment side, but having desync their weapons there could have changed to a crew kill. Alright. Good to know. Good to know. I don't regret missing out on a crew kill though. Seems like the scrap loss would be more efficient than repairs otherwise. Results based analysis says don't commit war crimes. <laughs> hey, our free rock from before pays off. Gotta love that blue option. Love it. Can I please have a store with weapons, please? That sounded like Christopher Walken. Good, good ear, Bilbo Saggins. I was just quoting an SNL skit, Saturday Night Live, Saturday Night Live skit, where, oh, what's his name? That guy who is in American Beauty, who plays the dad, who works at a fast food restaurant. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey does his, uh impression of Christopher Walken uh, doing an audition for Han Solo. It's That's one of my, that's a great SNL skit. Great old time SNL skit. Does the results based analysis include the lack of data when you commit war crimes by not leaving any surprise survivors to provide data? Have I seen the video of Christopher Walken pronouncing Foo Fighters? No, I haven't. Foo Fighters. That's what I would think he would do. Foo Fighters. But I, don't, I, haven't, I haven't seen that.
Sounds funny though. If you have a link, I'll check it out. You got a link. Dave Grohl impersonates him. All right, I'll watch this later. Impersonates Christopher Walken. That looks funny. All right, shieldless ship. We've had a lot of these. Um. It's really short, but great. Cool. Definitely check that out later. Little face analysis needs more results. Sadly, it won't get the results. <laughs> I love Christopher Walken impressions. They're so good. There's a YouTube series of... Uh, like, famous people reacting to other people's impersonations of them. There's one with... Uh, Oh, what's his name? Ah, God. It's so hard for me to think of celebrity names while I'm streaming my brain. Uh, who's the guy who's the Chaos Theory guy in Jurassic Park? What's his name? Ah, Store. Beautiful. So we get six jumps easily. One, two, three, four, five. Six. No, we get five. Probably not six. Jeff Goldblum. There's one of Jeff Goldblum, and he's surprisingly uh, positive about people's impersonations of him. It's great. And there's one of William Shatner. He's surprisingly, or maybe unsurprisingly, negative. He's like, that sounds like nothing like me. <laughs> All the time, so. I have to watch this one, then. Who is that? Kevin Pollock, Christopher Walken goes to Trader Joe's. I'll watch that later. Cool. Uh, uh, finds a way. Okay. Uh, oh, you, please, please weapons. Please weapons that don't suck, please. Uh, they're weapons, but they suck. Uh. So this is two stores, sector two. We've been to three stores now. Thank you for and we've seen only missiles at stores so far. Thank you for following. Oh, are there like, is there like, explosive replicator? No. Thank you for the follow, Matt O'Briss. Matt, o Matt O'Bry. Radio talk show does a hilarious skit about Chris Walken. Okay. Yeah, I could get cloaking hacking, but then I'm stuck with this build right now. There's something very odd I could do. All right, lay it on me, Mike, because I don't know what I should be doing. Is it a teleporter play? Why did my Streamlabs just screw up? Streamlabs just did something weird. Um, mind control... No. Not sure what is right. You were looking at cloaking a building in it. Cloak hack. Yeah. All right, my Streamlabs is not working right now. That's weird. Hopefully I'm still online. I think I'm still online. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm honestly thinking about selling Beam Drone, buying Cloaking. So the Cloak hack, to be completely safe, is what? Level 2 Cloak, level 2 hack? Clearly getting ready for triple Hermes boss setup is a right call, clearly. Cheat engine reminder. Okay, let me close that. Thank you. Yeah, I. Th this looks like I need to go into some stupidly crazy defensive build. Complete lockdown is hack three, cloak two. But I'm pretty sure cloak two, hack two is almost complete. Right? I'm not doing a teleporter build. This is... I'm not turning... Zeltan C into a suicide bomber build. No, my control is the worst option, Ellie Mert. We need cloaking hacking for this ship. Going mind control. As much as it gives protection from borders, it doesn't help my offense. And we need either insane either an offensive upgrade or such good defense that enemies can't kill us. So Page two is just crew. Nothing really useful. 
I also want shields plus power before pushing the hat cloak upgrades. Yeah. Right, I'm gonna sell the scanners. I'm gonna sell the beam drone. I'm gonna blow my cash here and get a four storage up next sector with a black heavy one. I'm afraid of. So. Okay, I'm gonna buy the cloaking. The question is, what else do I do? I could get three weapon power online right now if I sell one weapon. Right? It's 35, 25. So if I sold one weapon, like the charge ion, I could start with Hermes and swap to Ion Blast or something. You don't want to over-influence you? No, I, I like suggestions. I want ideas because I don't think I'm going to invest in the cloaking hacking upgrades right now. Because I feel like I do want to do something with my weapons. The problem is I, I still haven't bought power yet, so... Oh, what's up, CS Vapor? You like the weapons 3? One thing to consider is that Charge Iron goes much better with Cloak that Cloak Hack than Iron Blast Mark 2. That's a, that's a, that's a good point. Iron Blast 2 also sells for more. I'm thinking about is selling Ion Blast 2, getting weapon upgrade, and then maybe power. You can get unlock third weapon slot without selling. Oh, that's true. I have 25. I was thinking it was 35. You're right. I think I sell Ion Blast 2 anyway, though. So I feel like I'm going to need to get hacking or cloaking upgraded. Right, I'm going to sell. I'm going to sell. Sell the Iron Blast Mark II. This gives me the option for the Hermes against two shield ships. Gives me one power, my first power buy. Um, so this gives me some options. I could also do something like hack upgrade. I honestly don't know that I want to go into super high level hacking when I still need my beam drone, one drone per fight to do any sort of hull damage without Hermes. For what it's worth, you think Farb would love this play? Well, if Farb would do it, I should probably. I think I'm going to do this. I don't know if it's right. I don't even know if I love it, but I think this is the play. All right, I can't see when anybody does follows or anything. I need to refresh my Streamlabs. Give me a second here. Streamlabs is being very strange right now. And I can't see recent events. There we go, that fixed it, okay. Okay. For what it's worth, you always wondered what that was supposed to mean. I think that's what FWIW means. That's what I read it as, for what it's worth. You don't think I need power just yet? I don't know. I don't know, maybe I don't. There's so many different things we could have done there. And I don't even love the one that I chose to do, so, you know. Of course, I pretty much would have only loved something that involved me getting a flak there, so... And we didn't in zone, we did not get a flak, so my love of that play is tempered. He's running. Six fuel, drum part, eight scrap. It's a pretty good deal, honestly. That's max fuel, I think. You think you would have done pretty much the same thing, Mike? Just cut that flak free and take it. That's how this game works, right? Man, I wish I could. I think I'm going to take that deal, actually. The drum part and the fuel make that worth taking, I think.
So do I want to go into fights with Charge Iron or Hermes powered? Probably Charge Iron. And the next human available, Ray. God. <sighs> I'm not going to remember that, Knight of Ren, but okay. You hated that play, Kappa, Farb says. Nice. What's up, Farb? Gotta love when the backup battery gives more power than the main reactor of your ship. Yeah, yeah. Just, um, whatever this ship is called, things. Okay, I better hit piloting since my beam drone has literally only hit empty rooms so far. Have I mentioned lately how shitty beam drones are? <sighs> He's hit one non-empty room once. Oh, freaking beam drone. Drone offense, man. Gag me with a spoon. There's a 90s phrase for you. Gag me with a spoon. Drones suck. Your star just got here. It doesn't look like things are going well. Uh, thanks for the 100 bits. Uh, you don't have to apologize for getting here. I just, I don't... <laughs> Please don't request crew that I don't have to get you because it's going to go down the list and I'm going to miss it. Hopefully the mods can help me keep track. The run is, it's not that the run's going bad, it's that I'm playing my least favorite ship in the game. Maybe someone could make a script for Mubot to put requests into a list when they come up. would be pretty handy and maybe it could cap at five requests. Yeah, the make a script. I kind of know what those words mean. You should add a description to the renamed redeem to say, please do not request crew before they're on the ship. I Can I do that? I don't know if I can do that. All right, what do I do here? NG Homeworlds actually sounds terrifying because NG ships are going to have two shields and anti-drone drones and defense drones. You can pause redeems while I took. I don't know. I'll just I'll stop complaining about it one day eventually. Maybe I probably won't. I honestly think rock might be better here. I have rock live mine protection. I have Zoltan shield protection from missiles. And rocks are less likely to have anti-drone drones. Rock 3 can have level 3 cloaking pirate fighters, really? Okay. Yes, yeah, so you have to mail to a P.O. box to rename crew. Plan B, ban everyone that makes crew quests in a day or so the problem solves itself. Um... Rock has two guaranteed stores. NG has two to three stores. Lock yourself out of a green option. True, but if I go here, I lock myself into potentially forced Zeltan into forced abandoned. So, you know. I don't know, man. I actually don't know here. I only have 23 scrap. Hermes beam drone charge ion to sell. Is that enough to get a flak and a heavy laser? Maybe. NG free stuff. Going to NG sector because you want NG free stuff. I don't think I'm quite desperate enough for that yet. I think the bigger question is which ships do I have a harder time with? NG homeworld ships with this build or rock ships? Um, can I even do the NG Homeworlds quest? I can't because I don't have an NG. Yes, anti-drone. Anti if we fight a ship with a defense drone and an anti-drone, I can do literally nothing to an enemy ship. Because that would the defense drone shoot down my Hermes missile. The anti-drone drone shoots down my beam drone. I'd have to, like charge my charge ion correctly to take out his drone control it would just be a nightmare is Zoltan C the worst ship in the game or is it Stealth B? Uh, Zoltan C is my least favorite Stealth B is probably the worst in the game for no pause streaking 
Oh god, I'm gonna hope for NG free stuff. I could sit there 20 minutes just thinking about what what choice to make there, and I don't know if I'd ever be super happy with the choice I make. God, look at all these isolated parts of this sector. Do I even have an efficient way to get 11 jumps? 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I do. Okay. Banking on your missile getting past an NG defense drone is not something I'd want to bank on. Thanks, Knight of Ren. Appreciate the positivity. It's a good blue option. Alright, I would backtrack first door over here. So I'm checking this first door over here. I don't know if I should be upgrading my shields right now, too. Like, maybe I should be... Trusting in my hacking cloaking to carry me while I don't do any other upgrades. Trying to find a store with non-trash weapons. Ignore. Okay. I'm gonna do one more jump before the store. NG virus. Okay, hacking. Yeah, I'm not even gonna do this fight because it's an it's a guaranteed NG ship. I don't think we get a very high reward from this, but something to sell. Okay, that's not bad. NG virus is actually quite good right there for free stuff. Would you like to sell all of your offense for fuel? That's what that store says. God, I hope not. Come on, come on, flak or first laser or even like a oh god. Pike beam or something? Okay, alright, alright. We can work with this. We can work with this. Okay, how do we make this work? How do we make this work? Um... We're always buying this. What else are we doing here? I probably should check page two, but I was just like, I see Burst Laser 2, I buy Burst Laser 2 right now. Um, getting Burst 2 plus Hermes online does not seem super viable. If I sell Hermes and Beam Drone, I can get Charge Ion online, right? And I go Burst 2, Charge Ion. Do I want to do that? Yeah, I could. I could sell one thing to get... Ion Blast Mark 1, but what I'm thinking about is two shield ships. I'd rather have Charge Ion rather than Burst Ion. What if I... Actually, I could go... I could sell Hermes Beam, buy the Ion Blast for now, and then eventually swap over. I think I'm going to do that. There's an argument for using Hermes and stuff, but defense drones just shut it down. Let's do this, and this means I can invest in maybe hacking or shields next, and I don't necessarily have to get Charge Ion online right now. Um, I need to consider continue OMDing, but now instead of running to drone control, we save our position here, I think. I'm gonna do that, but continue to OMD. Accessibly man doors for those who wonder what OMD means. Okay. Let's um, have hacking ready to go. Found an interesting tutorial on how to view all latest point redeems in a queue in an extra window. Window. Okay. Remember when we want a drone recovery arm? Now it's all changed. Just FTL things, yeah. One door isn't opened. Okay. Hopefully I fixed it. If not, I'll fix it. Yeah, no, you're right. I missed that one. Cut. Okay. Alright.
All right, well, so far the NG free stuff has been not terrible. Four, three, two, one. We haven't had a single ship fight in this NG sector, which is probably a good thing for our, what our build was. <laughs> About half of our scrap almost has been free stuff so far this run. Oh my gosh. Hey, you left this Hermes. Stop leaving your Hermes beside. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Uh, yes, I'll take that. Thank you. I did leave that at the last store, and I totally didn't get paid for leaving that at the last store. Okay. It's a ghost sector. If the ghosts give me free stuff, I'm cool with it. All right, forward scout. Running away. Beam drone. Defense two drone. Uh. Fuck you, FTL. That did not pull the pilot yet. Uh, how do I pull the pilot? I don't know. I have to just shoot the piloting, I think. This sucks. This really sucks. This defense 2 drone sucks. He's gonna get out, isn't he? Oh, his his piling's burning. That's great. Uh, God damn it. I don't have enough power. <sighs> I'm so stressed right now. Okay. <sighs> not bad, not bad. We stopped him from running at least. Did I use two drone parts? I only use one drone part there. Okay. I did not get a free weapon. Well, okay, I did get a. <laughs> I did get a free weapon. I thought you were talking about the burst later too. Yes, we got it. We've actually gotten a lot of free weapons, Knight of Ren. We got a bunch before you got here too. So, I am sad to say you cannot take credit for all the free stuff we've gotten this run because look at sector one, 102 scrap worth of free stuff, and that included some free weapons. But. If you want to leave and come back and get me more free weapons, I wouldn't argue. When is the right time to start buying power? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, but I have a store that could have... If there's a heavy laser one, you know what I'm buying. Every time we go to eat out, you leave your Hermes missile on the table. It's so embarrassing. Excuse me, sir. You dropped your Hermes missile. Keep selling infinite scrap glitch, yes. It's a halberd beam. It's a pike beam. All right. Mike Copley says, I'd say you mostly want to buy one to three power for sector three. <laughs> Is there any way I can go burst laser two plus halberd beam? I don't think so. As much as I hate to say it, I think the play might be pike beam. Because it's so expensive to go halberd beam. I have 19 scrap left. 19 scrap. Those sell for 40. So, be, so I'm a little bit short to sell both of these by halberd and get it online. Dress for the halberd beam you want, not for the halberd beam you have, huh? Or defensive. Well, what I'm thinking about doing is selling... Buy Pike Beam, get one weapon power, and then buy shields. I might need to sell both Charge Ion and Ion Blast to do this. And with backup battery, I could have two shields, Burst Laser 2, Pike Beam. Which is, I think, the play I need to make right now. I could get shield value now and not actually get the second shield yet. 
Yeah, it might be worth keeping the one power ion blast. I'm thinking about it. Hey, tough to get Pike instead of Halberd, but I think you agree it's the best option. Yeah, it's just it's too expensive to go into Halberd. Am I going for an achievement? <laughs> no. Lagavulin. I have six, seven, eight thousand hours in this game. I have stopped caring about achievements in this game many thousands of hours ago. No, I'm not going up for achievements. The only achievement I care about is winning with every ship on Harbo No Pause in a row one time. I've not got the cycle once. I'm not going for achievements. Achievements are the last thing on my mind. I'm gonna do that. Is this that? That, that sounds like I'm bragging. I'm sorry. I feel like I say some things that sound very braggy. I apologize if that sounds braggy or anything. We are immune to damage. This is a, an immune to damage fight. Is there anything I want to cross train? Not really. Uh, well, there's a potential O2 crew kill, I guess. Level 202, since I don't need a dodge. Let's go check. Let's we'll see if there's no 2 crew kill here. I'm gonna guess he has NGs. That's not repairing super fast. He does have NGs. But it's a human repairing. Two drum parts. Turner's looking great with some scrap for upgrades. Look at your build, Burst Laser 2. Hmm? I don't know if this is actually going to happen, but I'm going to go for it. Been lurking this run from the start. Be lurking to say Lagaluvin 16 is my favorite whiskey. Oh, nice. Is that what that name is a reference to? It's whiskey? Nice. Uh, this run is looking great. Hack him to get better chance. Um, do I want to spend a drone part on it? Nah. Do I? I think it's too late. I think I've screwed up. I don't think it's happening now. I, uh, yeah, it's not happening now. It's too late. Yeah, I I, sh uh, I can't do it now. I, I I wasn't thinking it was worth the drone part. Wow, that was a lot of scrap. Okay, I do not. I regret spending the drone part. I do not regret the amount of scrap we got for that. It's actually really nice. Okay. Shield power. Even before I see what the next jump is. That was really good scrap gains. Thanks for the prime sub, Dukoop. That's a new sub. Welcome to the randoms. Glad to have you. Told you the energy sectors are guaranteed to always be such awesome. <laughs> really? Is that what you said? Zelda in the home worlds, huh? We already have a Zeldon shield, and Zeldon border police can go suck it. We're going pirate. Free envoy, yeah, that's totally what we'll get. Free envoy. Double Zeldon shield, all the way. Are there there are there free boarding events? ships in this sector, aren't they? Imagine if Zeldon Shield stacked. Yeah, imagine if that or Pre-Igniter stacked. <sighs> okay. My biggest issue now is I don't know how to do fights. Level 1 hacking, level 1 cloaking. Should I be hacking engines to guarantee I hit things? It's going to depend on the fight, I know, but... Honestly, wondering if I need to pull my guy out of weapons here. Do this for the ion immunity. 
We're at this place where in in Sultan Sea Run where we've almost turned the corner, but the low power is it's freaking me out. The low power is freaking me out right now. Yeah, I would love to upgrade help uh, hacking, but I think I actually need power even before I do that. But again, I'm not sure. It's freaking hard to know. I think I'm gonna go up then back down and around to get more scrap for this store. Why did you upgrade the battery before the generator? <laughs> Because this ship starts with level 2 backup battery and no power. I didn't. Don't worry. I did not spend 50 scrap on a backup battery. I don't know if you've never seen this ship before, Lagavulin. La -la -laga uh, I feel like you're asking questions of something that shows that you've not, you might not have played this ship before or something. I have not upgraded. I The only scrap I've spent on power so far was a was one power upgrade so I did not I did not do that thing you just suggested that I did I did not uh, I need scrap more than I need the fuel that would have been an excellent joke if you put a cap at it. yeah oh man please tell me I don't Lose out on a second bit of scrap. Okay, good. Uh, free stuff, good. Zolt Micro can help with the power, but it's really hard to do all that without pause. No. Sorry, sorry. I, 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 <laughs> I hope I'm not being mean when I answer some of these questions, but like... <laughs> asking why I upgraded backup battery 2 before getting real power is like asking a poor person, why don't you have more money? Like, why don't you just have a house? Because I can't afford it. And this is what life has dealt me. I'm playing Zeltan C, and this ship sucks. They give you a backup battery, Mark II, and two power, and three Zeltans, and say, have fun. That's why I have that. Why are you homeless? Because <laughs> yeah. I can't afford to buy a house, that's why. Is Zeltan C being kind? Honestly... I have to say it probably is. It probably is. Um, thank you for the one bit. Here's the help with that house. House. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for that penny. Now buy a house. Now I gotta decide, do I spend scrap on power when I have a store coming up? And as crazy as this sounds, I think I'm not gonna spend scrap on power with a store coming up. Just random a better ship, man. It's so easy. Just get a small loan of a million dollars. Manly search, clone bay. Just get a small loan of a million dollars. So easy to be rich. I suppose you cannot hide when you are annoyed by a question from the chat. Yeah, and, and it's... I'm too... Like, I'm bad at putting on a fake face and saying... I don't know. I, I so my, my response to questions that I find... I don't want this to sound mean, but ignorant. Asking why I upgraded backup battery shows that you don't know how this ship starts. And so my response is with sarcasm, so I apologize. I'm trying not to be mean. <laughs> but my response is sarcasm. Why? Cause... He dodged every fucking shot! <laughs> why? He was fucking gay. Uh... Uh... I hope I hope I'm not offending anybody with with my response to questions. Oh god, we're boarded. Okay. Um he's in my cloaking. Uh, now that I made partner, I'm allowed to be mean, okay. <laughs> Cuz people should know this is a stream of a programmer, so beginner questions might be annoying. And and I don't and I like to encourage questions. So that's why I'm trying to say I don't want to sound mean. Um but yeah. Anyway, uh, what do I need to do here? They have boarded my cloaking. I think I'm gonna have to hack their weapons here. Why did I change my med bay to a clone bay? Yeah. Thank you for the 500 bits, T Goat. 
Not able to catch many streams. Still enjoying the content. Having to watch the VOD. So sad. Just keep thinking of your awesomely bad jokes that you can't put in chat. Just put it in YouTube and we'll, you know, we'll respond to them there. Try not to be a dick, but I've been wearing that shoe so long, no longer a fit. It's part of me, yeah. I don't know if I deal with the, uh... Yeah, I don't, actually. Let's take this shot now. Um... Okay, he's dead, so I'm gonna not take this deal, right? Two drone parts? If that was fuel, I'd probably take this. Whoops, I did not mean to vent you. Got the MF pop-ups. I didn't vent that room. Fuck me. See, I don't think I'm a dick, but when I get questions that are like, I don't know, I don't know. I, I would, I would have a hard time talking to a child, I guess, because if a child's like, "Why is the sky blue, man? You're stupid, kid." <laughs> is that how I would respond to a kid? What a dumb question. It's so easy. No, I don't have the answer, but you're stupid. I don't know. I don't know. I'm worrying too much. I probably am. I've been on Twitch for a long time, and I've had so many people say, you're mean, or uh, say mean things to me that I'm very defensive, so I'm just very defensive on Twitch. That's just, that's what it is, I guess. Why did you vent all your crew and buy Zoltans? I know, right? Why didn't I start with four flax? Why did you randomly choose to play this ship? Sometimes I envy your endurance. You stream every day. You stream for three hours this morning, and you're beat. Yeah, it can be tiring, that's for sure. Um... Might be because you're awake at 7 a.m. though. Hmm. That would make me tired too. All right, I'm gonna continue to be greedy for one more jump before I go to the store. I get free borders. You know what? Okay, let's not be stupid here. Let's uh, let's vent our people who are low health. Let's just do it. It loses me a little bit of training, but we'll get it back quickly. And if we get boarded by four mantis or something, I'm gonna need full health. Hey, stupid baby, read a book. That's right. <laughs> Sky is blue because of the high nitrogen nitrogen content in the atmosphere. See, I don't even know the answer to that question. I'm making fun of babies, so, you know. <laughs> uh, not gonna lie, you cannot stand talking to kids for more than five minutes at a time either. Honestly, I like kids. And I think it's fun to hang out with kids. But it can be tiring. And I've never had kids, but I have nieces. And it's fun for a while, and then the over-the-top energy or... The crazy non-stop talk about Roblox or whatever they're super excited about. <laughs> You'd be like, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go read a book in a quiet room. Cause you're making me tired. And a question like why did you upgrade backup battery two is not even on that level. It's just on a you know, new to FTL level, so uh, why are the lyrics different? You haven't heard of Weird Al, you uncultured swine? Yeah. There have been some mean people, but we give them a nice band hammer, that's right. Still think you're awesome. It's okay to be a bit tired of the same question every single stream, yeah. Oh my god. And here's where my greed maybe kills me. I like kids, I just can't eat a whole one. Why didn't you buy a flak too? It's better than flak one. What is this? Roadblocks you speak of. It's fine to be mean as long as you're mean in style. Trimmer goes off on stupid babies. Viral TikTok clip. Okay. All right. Well, we have to hack weapons here. This is just a no-brainer. Hack weapons. Jesus, the low power, man. Reactively cloaking here. Okay. Oh, the power of micro. Oh, the power of micro. 
Rand, why would you buy a backup battery too instead of real power? Man, I don't know why I did that. Oh, that would be a stupid play, wouldn't it? Oh man, if I did that, that would be really dumb. That would really be stupid of me if I did that, huh? Okay, let's go to this door. Honestly, that was a pretty good fight for what it could have been a very scary fight. I know, casual eight shot laser setup. To be fair, most people would probably not choose to play Zelda Sea with us not know what to do on it. I know I would never dare play the garbage bag of a ship that this is, yeah. When people were mean to you, was it more from chat or over messages? Uh, no, I'm talking about in chat. If I get private messages, I don't care if people are mean to me. I just ban them and never hear from them again. Uh, it's more things when people come to chat and say things like, I don't know. You're bald and... I, I had, I had, basically, I had a person who was, I don't know if molesting is the right word, but, um, creating new accounts to, uh, abuse me making fun of my past relationships, and they would do it over and over using follow names that were, uh, aggressively derogatory names towards my past relationships for a while. So I had to turn off follow, uh, follow uh, alerts for a while. Yeah, harassment, that's the word. So, i have that's why I'm pretty defensive on Twitch. I don't- I haven't got a lot of it, and it's probably nowhere near the crap that women on Twitch have to deal with, but I've had my own share of harassing on Twitch. So I get a little defensive, and I apologize for that. I get a little defensive. Some people will need to get a life. Yes, yes, they do. All right, I'm feeling better. I maybe should have gone for hacking, but this this right here, this build, makes me feel like, okay, now I can start focusing on getting things like hacking upgraded and cloaking upgraded and saving for other stuff. So. Good to see you moving around more these days, Mr. Bruce Willis. How are you today? Who the hell is time for that? People with no life that come to streams and uh, they just have no life. So, you know, probably they are having even worse problems in their life than most other people. So I just try to block them out. You're a bit surprised you guys watched the stream last year for weeks and at least you didn't see anything like that. You only watched for weeks. It was, oh God. Uh, I don't remember when it happened. It might've been a couple years ago. It's fine. Oh God damn it. Okay, they're not boarding me, right? Okay, they're not fighting me. Where are they? They're over here, okay. Jesus, how many borders is this? Okay, it's four borders. Them. All right, we only take one damage from this. Uh, although I do lose some training because I've vented these guys. Oh well. Uh, people are the worst. That's why we need to vent them, man. That's why I talk about venting humans. Well, that and they suck in this game, but... Uh, all I've seen for the past year is harassed, bald Twitch streamers. Sounds like someone needs to get a life. Yes. Uh, events where it's just borders is kind of like harassment, too. Well, I mean, that's normal FTL. Playing FTL is self-imposed harassment there's your there's your there's your rand ftl quote of the day voluntarily playing ftl is like self-imposed harassment so have a good time everybody <laughs> was that five borders either four or five i don't know we only took one damage thankfully and had to vent our guys a bit the sleeping dragon to show, to show good of a player I am, I let two of my crew die with an undamaged clone bay. Yikes. Yikes, that's, that's a bad time. Do I ever go to this store? Probably skip it unless we get something to sell at this next jump. The ball thing is mostly why I use PNG instead of a camera. Well, I mean, I'm bald. I don't actually care. The people that would make fun of me for being bald are the people that I would never want to talk to or hang out in real life, so... People think it's funny, I mean... 
people have their own people it's usually probably kids who are like teenagers who are like haha i'm never gonna be bald let's make fun of this bald person i got nothing better to do with life you know those those kids just need to grow up it doesn't bother me that much but if i don't want them in my chat so playing ftl is like self-imposed harassment that's right what size drink does rand get when he goes to starbucks a venti oh lol i get it um, you know what? I think I might keep this anti-drone and not go to the store. Although I could afford a heavy laser one. I could afford long-range scanners. I should probably check the store. Convinced myself to check it. Seems like this run has gone pretty well to have Hat Cloak and Burst Laser 2 Sector 4. Yeah. I've been, uh, you know, my normal ragey self, but I can't actually argue with how this run has gone. What's wrong with being bald? Some people look way better bald. I don't know. I Personally, I wish I wasn't bald, but there's nothing wrong with being bald. It's genetics. So, um, hmm. I feel like any weapon change I make here would be the, a side grade at best. I could get Reloader, but it feels, it feels expensive when I should probably be upgrading my hacking. Dave Ted plus Beard is an underrated look, you think? Well, thanks, I agree. That's what I'm going with. Your family father side has a long history of balding. You're not looking forward to that? Yeah. What's the smoothest ship setup to run in hard but no pause? Four flak ones. Hacking, cloaking, mind control. Two automated reloaders. Um, and a pre-igniter. That's what I'd like, anyway. Alright, I think... None of this is that good to me. I'm just going to do that and buy two fuel here. I think anything else is too uh, expensive for too much of a side grade. Did you just call our fire beam a side grade? Ban, ha ban hammer. I sure did. I sure did. Can you ban me from my own stream? Thankfully, I don't think that's possible. Fuck you with these dodges. What the F? Good dodges. Did not get his missile offline, but we have Zelda Shield, so not a big deal. I want to fire that now. Uh, it's tempting. If that was an NG, I'd say yes all day, but. Let's get guaranteed high scrap oh, reward man, instead. Got to move my crew from doors there. You cannot ban the broadcaster. Have you tried? You've tried many times to ban Goblin Juggler. <laughs> Wonder if people go bald from having too passionate relationship with FTL. Certainly seems possible. Uh, did we get Reloader? No, I didn't buy it. I got Hacking 2 instead. Firebeam would be an easy crew kill. So punished, yeah. So punished. Really what I want to do is just get power and upgrades right now, so... I wonder if I should maybe get door upgrade so I don't have to have this guy OMDing. Keep forgetting to do this. Um, thank you for the one bit. Your kid fell on a concrete step. Oh no. Had to have teeth removed. One kid at school gave him a hard time because he had no teeth. His aunt said next time make a fist and say keep talking, you're next. They're all they all back off now, huh? Nice. <laughs> Goblin Jugger used to stream FTL but doesn't stream now. Uh yeah, he he was uh, Goblin Juggler was in our. Uh, he even helped Farb do some casting. Goblin was a great guy. Search for the ship. All right, no free weapon, but it is free stuff. I'm not sure if Nebula gets us anything, but does it get us an empty jump? That's right at the edge. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna assume that it doesn't just go one, two, three. There's a concept called malding, which we use in the Dota scene to describe people who get so mad at the game they go bald. Yes. That's not actually a thing, though. At what age did you go bald? You had a friend that turned bald at 16. You remember he would buy me beers at bars and ended up with me getting kicked out of him getting told not to buy beers for minors. Um, uh, I was... Mid-30s is when it got... Um, enough that a barber told me I should just start shaving my head. So mid-30s is what I'll say. I don't remember exact age.
So like seven years ago, I guess. Maybe a little bit longer. A, a bit before I started streaming, to be honest. A couple years before I started streaming, I would say. Most, most men have male pa pattern baldness, which means they don't just go bald. Their, their hairline recedes. Uh, I've shown pictures on chat before of my life before. Most of my life I have not been bald. Hard to... Hard to believe when everyone here has only seen me since I've started streaming. Oops. That's why I'm still... I still don't think of myself as, as bald. Even though... I mean, I, d I just, my, my brain self-image, if you think of the Matrix, where Neo, when he, the first time he goes back into the Matrix after pulling him, after they pull him out, they say something like, this is your reciprocal image, or whatever, whatever he says, my self-image of me is a guy with red blonde hair. Residual self-image, that's the one. How OP would an upgrade that allows you to fire a second hacking drone on a single ship be when you turn on hacking if hack attacks both systems? It'd be broken. Yes, Rand had locks. You only exist in the snapshot in which we can perceive you, I know. Philosophy Hour with Rand, featuring pop culture. Great. Um... Yes, yeah, so my philosophy all comes from 90s movies that I watched many, many times. That's where my philosophy comes from. The Matrix and Spider-Man 2 with Tobey Maguire. Uh, that should have been a pretty shocking experience, the barber telling you to shave yourself. Well, it was more like... It, it was very nice the way she said it. It was this Asian lady who... I kept just cutting my hair pretty short, but not all the way. And she's like, yeah, with your hairline, you probably should start considering just shaving it. It doesn't look good if you try to grow it out. Like, I didn't feel like she was being nice. I felt like, this lady's mean. She's calling me bald. But no, she was telling me the truth. Trying to, what does Elaine Bennis say from Seinfeld? What, clinging to some scraps? And George says, this, this is a memorial. To a once great civilization of hair, or whatever he says. That, you know... Um... The self-delusion, you might call it, rather than residual self-image. For one stream, you'd love to see Rand sporting his crazy hair piece and act like it's normal. You've gotten a lot of your philosophy from Billy Madison, nice. Yeah. It's like a mechanic telling you need to buy a new car, yeah. Uh, for these Alton Shield chips, is it better to wait on the pike beam to charge and hit the shield and then try to do damage with the burst laser too? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I can't hear Neo anymore without imagining your voice at this dodging sound samples. I find them so hilarious, the frustrated voice is cathartic to hear. Nice. Okay, free stuff. Uh, calling his toupee a hair hat. Some freaking Neo over here. Seinfeld Top 10 TV show. University days dreamed of having cool, long... Bangs, then you actually grew it out. It looks so cursed. Shaved down to half centimeter. Look much better. Peeps that make fun of ball just don't have any taste. Yeah. Okay, for free stuff this sector so far. All right. I still take a heavy laser one. You're not bald yet, but you've been thinking for about 10 years. You should just have your head, shave your head. Problem solved. It is easy maintenance, I'll tell you. We were boarding. Breach 2. If I can say one good thing about male pattern baldness and cutting it short, my god, do I not have to spend a lot of time in the bathroom with a comb and hairspray. Pretty nice, honestly. And be lazy. At least the bald fellas don't need to drop money on a haircut. That's right, it's also cheap. You have a big balding spot, you think the worst part is still not being bald enough to justify shaving? Cling to illusion you still have hair left? <laughs> yeah. Um... I wish there was more fuel. I guess I could buy small bomb here, it wouldn't be terrible. Full Matrix Trilogy, edit with Dumbledoge added every time they dodge bullets when. That'd be great, yeah. Game wants me to get a reloader. Well, the game also wanted me to get an explosive replicator earlier, and I didn't do that. 
could do this. Could do the small bomb. If I don't get any other weapons, I think that's good play. So I'll get it. Does he have a defense drone? I didn't even think about it. He does have a defense drone. Damn it. Should have bought that. I was only thinking about offense. Crap. Crap. Chat, you're distracting me. Hashtag blame chat. Very common for a man to what? Go bald? Yeah, I mean, it's like... What is it? Probably... I would say it's more, more likely than not for men to experience male pattern baldness, as far as I know. All those celebrities that don't ever lose their hair and age so well. They suck. Fuck you, FTL. They suck. So unfair. All those celebrities who look amazing till they die. Without even trying. God damn it. Jesus. Uh, did I hack him? I didn't. Okay, well, shield's down. My O2 needs to be fixed, man. Oh, Fucking hell, man. Okay, I need to focus up here. I need to focus up. Die, please. Thank God. Double reward is good, at least. This is still a shitty ship. I gotta focus and not get distracted. Still a shitty ship that I gotta focus on here. Push that guy, I think. Uh, third time we see an explosive replicator. When my son was first grade, he made sure to let his friends know his dad was bald. He thought it was funny. His RPG profile the sound sets for free use. I'm sure if you ask him, he will. Uh, let's see. Third time seeing Explosive Replicator. It's easy for Burger to say <laughs> about going bald because he's got an. Burger does have a nice quaff of hair. Jealous of Burger. It's like, I don't know, Tom Cruise or something over here. Just freaking Neo, freaking Tom Cruise over here with all this lovely locks. True about the saving money. Good God. Just shave it off for some pocket change. When any lady comes to barber, makes a haircut, has to sell her a kidney for it. Baldness is a sign of high testosterone. That's my excuse. That's right. I'm too manly for my hair. For sure everyone experiences some hairline recession. What changes is the degree which it, with, the, with which it recedes. Yeah. Definitely noticed your hairline receded. Wife did a hair fellowship at Columbia. Wow. How can you not open the doors for breaches unless you have rank 202? Correct. You need level 202 for to counteract one breach. You can't control your hair. That's the real issue. You always look like a mad scientist. <laughs> nice, nice. You should not apologize for amazing hair, Burger. Enjoy the genes God gave you. Enjoy it. Milk it for all it's worth. Just don't make fun of the bald people and say, be grateful. Just be grateful. I, I'm thinking about buying an NG right now. Like, for Sector 5, yeah, I'm just going to buy an NG here. This lets me, this gives me a silly device. I don't have, no longer have to OMD and run my crew around. Uh, let's do repair. There we go. We're almost like really strong. If I can get a little bit more power in third shield, I'll feel really good. Be the focus and not make mistakes about. Ah, like freeboarding and saving my drone parts and not hacking when I should. Don't tell my brothers, you know they're jealous. Rand, what about a ZZ Top type beard? I like a really long thing. I don't think I'd like that. Uh, not 100%, but you can usually see what your hair will be like if you look at your mother's father. You must see Burger's hair. It's pretty nice. Hair genes typically come from the mother, so male, dad, female, mom. Okay. <laughs> this is a four shield ship in Sector 5, man. Goddamn pirates. I'm gonna hack shields. Yeah, I don't have enough projectiles. I think I gotta hack shields here. Uh, 
pistols down. Actually, all their weapons down. Beautiful. Uh, that doesn't work for you because your dad's mom's dad had great hair. Your hair is carbon copy of my dad, basically a ranch and his dad. Good hit. Yeah, I've heard the whole your mom's dad is the genes of hair you get, but um, I don't know. My mom's dad was, I think, had more hair than I did on his head. And my little brother has more hair than I do. So does my older brother, so I don't know. Nice double reward. Rand, you're good at resolving international affairs, right? Need your help with something small real quick. Uh, I cannot help with Israel, if that's what you're asking about. Uh, it's a myth, actually. Baldness genes come from both. Okay, is this how they intended weapon builds to be? One laser, one beam, one iron, one bomb? <laughs> yeah. This is as intended, boys and girls and peoples. This is as intended. I forget what this quest is. Maybe an escort? There's our third store for the civilian sector. It's not a myth, it's just genealogy, which is not 100%, but it is traceable. Okay, it's a repair and a store. Okay. I mean, free repair is cool. Not what I was hoping for, but I guess I'll take it. You're not the guy stopping the rebellion? I am not. Uh, unless you're talking about video games, but I only help with video game problems, not real life problems. Look at my life. I am a single dude that's 42. You think I have the answers to real life problems? I am not the guy that has answers. Okay, what do we got here? Uh, I'm boarding my pilot. If you need war crimes, I'm your guy. Especially video game war crimes. I can help out with those. Anything else, I make no promises. I'm your war crimes and video games guy. Anything else? I'll help you with some singing stuff, but uh, I cannot res resolve your wars. Sorry to say. If it's as intended, where's your beam drone to? Um, I'm way too busy to fix the world. Yeah, way too play busy playing video games. <laughs> I'm doing really way more important things than fixing wars and stuff. I have to play FTL. So important. Okay, I was actually wondering if the store would get taken over. I was going to have the option. We'll check it out. You're 42. I have the answers to everything. Oh, that's true. I am the age that is the answer to all of the universe's problems. I forgot. That is the third automated reloader we've seen. It's true. I should have the answers to life, the universe, and everything. What's wrong with me? I feel like resolving wars is the least that can be expected from a Twitch partner. <laughs> um, I like Whole Laser too. Do I like it enough to swap it for anything else that we have? If it's a heavy laser too, I'd probably do it. I honestly don't want to spend any more scrap on weapons unless they're S tier weapons like Flak 1's, Heavy Laser 1's, 2's, Halberd Beams. So. Rand, you should get that automated reloader. I probably should, but what I'm going to do is have enough power that I'm not relying on backup battery. So I'm going to do that. Go buy the whole laser, too. We aren't great for crew killing phase one. That's true. I, you know what? Maybe I do sell pike beam for whole laser, too. I don't like pike beam. It's slow. Kind of slow. And not good enough for the power thought. Well, I don't know. You know what? This this might be weird, but I'm gonna do this. This this might be considered a side grade, but this does help with crew killing phase one of the boss, which is gonna be very helpful with us not having mind control. So I'm gonna do that. Uh, hey Rand, you seem like a pretty cool guy. You sound like you have a job that you enjoy. You create. For a living and give others joy and you get paid to play video games you wouldn't trade my situation for yours but you sound like you're doing okay at least from an outside perspective if you're looking for a partner someone will come along you are very positive i'm i'm a fortas i really appreciate that thank you for that uplifting message 
pay for free 40 stuff. I do. I do have a pretty good life. If I weren't lonely a lot of the time, I'd probably not want to change anything. Does anyone remember when they first started wearing deodorant? Yeah, probably teenage years. Call back to the fire being left behind, yeah. Pretty good deal, actually. I don't know if I need the fuel, but only one drone part for 10? I feel like I can't turn that down. I can get three, but I have a feeling that would be a dive, so... My wife asked because I think she's one, thinks one of your kids will be soon. Oh, are they starting to get that teenager stank on them? <laughs> I remember when my mom started telling me, uh, you should probably wear deodorant. Like, why? And now I know why. If you ever go into a high school, that's when those hormones do things, which includes making your body start to not smell like child roses anymore. In general, what's the best weapon? Uh, beam weapon? Wow, I can't talk. Uh, in general, I'd say halberd beam. If I had to choose one. I don't want to hack. Okay, good. It's not a terrible deal. Your kid's socks smell something bad when he gets home from school trying to resolve that issue, huh? Man's perfect partner plays video games or works at Sonic to get free food. Condensed hormones, there you go. You just joined Boy Scouts and one of the school scout leaders mentioned something about deodorant, huh? Yeah. Uh, cause he's running, I think I'm gonna take this deal. I'm taking this deal not because it's a good deal, but because it's guaranteed stuff. And, uh, I don't want to lose a chance at stuff. Am I in a half power nebula? I am, aren't I? I think I am. Yes, I think I'm extra power, okay. As a senior in high school right now, you can confirm. Well, the thing was, I probably didn't even notice it when I was in high school, so... I probably... Oh, well, I noticed, I noticed the kid that smelled bad in my school. But I didn't think the other kids smelled bad. I was probably neck deep in my own smelly hormones or something, so. Uh, okay, what do we got here? Heavy laser one, okay. As much as I'd like that, yeah, yeah, I will. I'm gonna sell... I'm gonna keep the small bomb for crew killing. I'm gonna sell the ion heavy laser. No more weapon purchases. We need to get third shield, fourth dodge, third hacking. We need to get all our upgrades now. So work towards that next. No more unless I see a plaque, then I'll change my tune. You were the smelly kid, or at least one of them. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that much fuel actually. Our other Lord and Savior, what? Lord and Savior heavy laser one. Okay, these empty jumps are not good. Game, I need to gain scrap. It's bad in freshman in 8th grade, yeah. Alright, uh, with this weapon system, I'm gonna start hacking some weapons if they don't have a crazy amount of shields. Thank you for 5 bucks, Bilbo! First donation today towards the uh, Christmas caroling stream. Okay. And it's crazy, man. It's crazy that I have my first Christmas caroling gig today. It's for a tree lighting in Allen, Texas. Now oh, those dodges, though. Okay. Apparently they're lighting their tree on November 16th. Seems early, but what do I know? I'm just a Christmas caroler. Frickin' dodges, man. Frickin' dodges. Now you always smell nice and always have some nice cologne on as well. I prefer to smell like nothing myself. But what I worry about is my breath. Because I'm pretty sure I I have bad breath issues. So I try to always have gum or a mint. Because that's the, that's the smell I worry about. So I'm pretty sure bad breath is my real life thing I have to deal with. You just had your Thanksgiving lunch at work, your belly is happy. Nice. Isn't it basically illegal to do Christmas before you roast the turkey in America? No. Tell that to every department store, Walmart, retail place. Halloween ends, Christmas decorations go up. That is how it is in the U.S. I think I'm going to not back up that. 
Some people hate it, some people love it. Uh, let's see, what's on the playlist? Uh, oh, one of 70 Christmas songs every couple of minutes. Uh, I don't know, we have, we, have, we have a very extensive playlist for our Christmas caroling group. You sing when they light their tree on fire. Uh, yeah, actually we usually do, yeah. Yeah, we sing, we sing when the lights get turned on, usually. This usually happens at these Christmas tree lightings. We get hired for a lot of those. Christmas tree lightings are a big deal. For a lot of places. Okay, get off my ship. I have no O2. No more boarding, please. That's a, uh, I was gonna say terrible deal, but two drone parts is not terrible, but scrap is terrible. Uh, deodorant scents, you know, that I smell better when I use vanilla-based scents and they keep just continuing them. You honestly think women's deodorant is the best working and smelling deodorant there is? As a student working part-time retail, I wish selling Christmas junk was illegal before December 1st. Uh, Christmas would have more hype if I had a family with young kids. Yeah, there's a retailer in the U.S. that started selling Christmas stuff in August. Have I ever had a gig days that were multiple jobs? Oh, man, most of my gig days are multiple gigs. I'd show you my calendar, but... I don't want to show you my calendar, so... <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I have... My busiest day I've ever had has probably been like four two-hour gigs. I don't know if I've ever had more than four gigs in a day. Eight, seven, six. Uh, but average is one to two gigs a day. Starting from Black Friday, which is the day after Thanksgiving. Some days I'll have none. Some days I'll have three. I don't think I have any four gig days yet this year. Although, I'm pretty sure I have two to three gig days with rehearsal days, so it's, uh, yeah, it's about to get crazy. About to get crazy up in here. I'll be missing a lot of streams coming up. Pipe's got to be shot after a long day like that. Yeah, you have to pace yourself. It's like running a marathon. Can't use it all up in one gig. And I'm usually very tired by the end of the day, that's for sure. Uh, I'm going to hack piloting here, actually. Just shoot. Both his offensive things. I have uh, one one day of two gigs where I purposefully put on my schedule no gigs can be put in anymore because the next morning I have to sing Messiah solos, which. Singing classical solos is some of the more taxing stuff I have to do, so yeah, I gotta I gotta pace myself. Holiday seasons for musicians are by far the busiest parts of the year, at least for every musician I know. Blame the home shopping network for Christmas in July. Uh booked in with Cindy five minutes, booked in with Mercy three minutes. Uh is that a sex joke? I think that must be a sex joke. Now right, we have a store coming up. Should do an FTL stream after four gig day. No, actually, I purposefully scheduled the uh, Christmas caroling stream on a day with a gig right after so that the three people that come here to sing for you folks will just join me to go do another gig. That was actually uh, the guy, my friend Joel, who books the gig says, let's do it on a day when you have another gig so we can just have the gig route go, uh, the singers go right to the next gig. So that's, that's how we scheduled the uh, December 8th thing, is we are going to go do another gig right after. Have I played an instrument? Yeah, clarinet was my instrument in high school and college. You're the drum major of our band. Nice. Yeah, I was drum major back in high school. Uh, clarinet and saxophone is what I played. A little bit of piano, but no, I'm not really a very good pianist. Uh, Handel's Messiah. That's right. Yep. I'll be singing comfort ye and um, everybody. That whole thing. 
Oops, yes. Uh, damn, I meant to drone part. That's what I meant to buy. I did not mean to buy that fuel. Start rehearsals with my director for that soon. Sorry for the ignorant question. What happens if you hit the 350 bucks goal for Christmas caroling stream? Uh, well, even if we don't hit it, I'm still going to do it. But if we hit it, what happens is I don't have to pay out of my own pocket to hire my fellow singers to come sing. And if we go above that goal, I will actually get to pay myself for the work I'm doing. So you all will be paying for Christmas Carol's stream. That is what will be happening. And we will have a lot of fun. That is the other thing that will be happening. A lot of fun with you all hearing me and my friends sing your favorite Christmas songs, because we'll be asking for your favorites. We'll ask for requests. Um, and it's definitely not an ignorant question. I feel like I've trained chat to be very apologetic when asking me questions now. <laughs> it's when I yell at chat, I guess. That's so cool. Yep, December, uh, I put it on the, the link, right? December 8th, Friday, 12 p.m. to 1 p.m. That's the plan. I have trained chat to be Canadian when asking questions. When I make fun of people saying, why did you upgrade your backup battery to level 2 and stuff like that. I didn't, I didn't do that thing. But apparently I'm going to yell at you for asking me that, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, good. I don't think I yell at chat, but I guess I kind of do sometimes. Alto sax or tenor? Uh, I played alto first, then I played soprano sax for a solo and ensemble competition where we played Flight of the Bumblebee. And then I played tenor sax in uh, jazz band. So I played three different ones. Never played very sax. Have I composed original music? Uh, I have arranged four-part acapella SATB music. I've never composed an original piece. I have done some arranging for my Christmas caroling group, though, and for my uh, vocalese acapella group that I do. So I've done more arranging than any composing. Uh, your favorite Christmas song is Die Hard. That's a movie. You're not going to Doc's Rand, but having lived in Alien, in Allen, I think I actually know the place doing the Christmas tree lighting. Oh, that, that. Come out. Allen Premium Outlets. I'll out myself. That's where we're going to be. Allen Premium Outlets. If you're in Texas, I'd be happy to see you come hang out and listen to us do Christmas carols. Although I have a feeling if you go out there, the parking's going to be crazy. So come early if you're going to come. Damn, I did not time that very well. These are the kind of gigs where you could come to if you were in the area because they're public. Private parties and stuff we do, you wouldn't be able to come to, but... Come on out to Allen Premium Outlets, hear Uptown Carol or Sing. Um, the outro, the outro is again, it's an arrangement because the original song is the well Wellerman and I basically wrote a little bit of a four part acapella version of that from listening to other arrangements and then wrote my own words. That's, that's what I call musical arrangement, arranging. Uh, one, two, I could have maybe dove if I planned it better, but I'm not going to dive. You can attend the private parties, just have to have played Hitman. There you go. If you can sneak in the window, you can join our private parties. I will sell five, 15 missiles. Nice. And I still have 22. Merry Christmas to all, be kind to another, and most of all, yippee ki mother effer. And that's the song. That's the, that's the song. Rebel, con Rebel Stronghold or NG Controlled for my Sector 7. I don't have long-range scanners. But yeah, original composition would be if I wrote a new song called Rand Plays FTL. Oh, and Pain Train with another five bucks. Thank you. And I wrote original music with original chord changes with arrange original instruments. But if I take Weird Al's version of, well, let's not say Weird Al, but like 
I don't know, Billy Joel's song, My Life, and just wrote uh, wrote it for four-part SATV, then that would be an arrangement. Rand, it is the night before Christmas, but die hard. Okay. Should live stream that lighting gig. Now that would... I don't... I can't do live streams out in the real world. I don't have equipment for that. Um, and also you'd have to pay royalties if you do stuff like that. Uh, NG Control to Rebel Stronghold. Where do I want to go here? I'm thinking about going NG. As much as I like Look Around, I don't have long-range scanners. I'd also have to deal with, like, Rebel Disruptors, all that kind of stuff. I think I'm going to go NG Control here. Make it easy for the end of this run. You got to go, Knight of Ren. I bet you will beat the flagship so badly they'll think it's worth shipping the game. All right. Appreciate that. I'm going NG for hopefully an easy Sector 7. It might not be easy, but... All right, I need level 3 hacking. I maybe should have got that first. The first original composition from Ram is going to be called I Effing Hate This Game in G minor. There you go. There you go. Sounds about... Right. Possibly F major. <laughs> in F... Effing F major. Effing F major. My favorite key. Nice good dodges for us. You should have zero wow, our Zoltan shield just will not go down. That is awesome. These are insanely good dodges. He's raging so hard right now. Ooh, we might get through kill. Mm, maybe. Okay, we need to burn in another fire. Uh, got to pop off for a meeting. Kick ass with the rest of the run. Thanks, Grandma Tark. We'll see you later. Watch NG Sector secretly be Rebel Disruptor Hive. Why didn't the Federation have a flagship? Seems like the Rebels were onto something here. Dodge a giant effing missile. We dodged multiple giant effing missiles, which is great. Do I even care about stores right now? I mean, I like flax, I guess. I guess I like flax. What is a ship explosion but a large fire? True, true. Uh, I could get a defense drone, and actually defense one drone I missed earlier. I would I would sell one of these anti-drones for a defense drone. I wonder if double anti-drone would be worth... Double defense one drones are worthless in most cases, but double anti-drones? Nah. Uh, it's none of this stuff, though. I mean, breach two? Nah. Could buy an extra NG if I want. This is the one free crew we've got in this run, I think. Rand, are you just looking around the room and saying things things that you like? I like flack. <laughs> nice uh, Anchorman reference. Maybe. FTL has learned the spirit of Christmas and is gifting you giant effing missiles. Wonderful. Can I can I re-gift it to chat? Here you go, chat. I'm re-gifting you giant effing missiles. This crew would be really bad right now. I'm just going to get this upgrade right now. Yay, giant effing missiles, right in your face. Happy Merry Christmas. Okay, we're pretty safe in this fight, so I'm going to save a drone part here. Attempt to save a drone part, that is. If he does board me, I probably will want to have this prevented. All I have to do is cloak the flak too every time. Well, no saving missiles for me. Frickin' dodges are too good. Uh, not missiles, but the other things. Uh, I didn't have to use that drone part. Oh well, drone part, that's the thing. Although maybe I can crew kill with that. Okay. Okay, fire. This might be a crew kill here. Just hoping for fire there. One more time. Before he burns down, I need this. 
That should do it. Nice! Give them nothing, Engies. Feel no fear. Beautiful. Good crew kill. I'm only a war crime specialist in video games, says the man gifting giant effing missiles for Christmas. That's right. On the second day of Christmas, FTL gave to me giant effing missiles and a timer on your health. That's right. Alright, let's see what this door's got. Heavy laser 2. Heavy laser 2 is good. <laughs> but it feels side grady for everything, man. Unless I want to swap out my whole laser 2. It's 2 seconds faster than whole laser 2. Uh, this is a bit of a win more. So let's win more like this. Because I like heavy lasers. Let's win more like that. Okay, we're going to do our hacking upgrade, then it's going to be the weapon upgrade next. And then we need power. Yeah, it looks like a potential win. Hopefully we'll finish this off strong. Seven, six, five, four. I'm going to be here in four. Yes, I am definitely a heavy laser enjoyer. It's not very often we get multiple heavy lasers on a run, so... Let's enjoy our time together, Heavy Laser. O2 buffer? Not yet. We're not we're not to buffer points yet. I need my small bomb online before we go to the buffer points. Oh, this is bad. Um It's actually really bad. I'm gonna just let them kill that. I have not dodged a single... He's dodged every single volley so far, come on. Okay. Okay, let's not be greedy. Okay, Mantis borders, man. Uh, we might be able to crew kill this though, actually. Okay. Heavy laser crew killed build, man. That's what we're that's what we're doing now. Um I think his ship's gonna burn down. What the hell? What happened with my Why did he get out of that room? Could have been a crew kill. Two fuel as a bonus reward in sector seven, not that good. No mind control. We have a clone. We have a drum control that I wish I didn't have octopus for. Another reason this ship is BS and terrible. I would love to get mind control, but my systems are done because dumb ass drum control that you're forced to have. Good drum control reroute. Thank you. Heavy lasers are great for crew murderization. All those hull breaches and fires. Yes. A weapon. There. Honestly, if I was min-maxing, I'd have my engines and power and engines until they get the resultant shield, then swap power over. Uh, a six, five, four. Okay. That beam drone tried its best. Well, just like this ship, its best is not good enough. Although I will say, this run was pretty good, so I can't really complain. One, two, three. I don't even want a store right now because I don't have anything to sell, right? If I get enough scrap from this jump to get a defense drone at this store, I'll check it. <laughs> Otherwise, we're skipping the store. Mind control and drone control based the same thing. If only. If only. I know it can be done well, but I literally never use drones if you can avoid it. Well, they're just... In my opinion, drone drones are objectively worse than those three other systems. Cloaking, hacking, mind control. Just objectively worse. They're just pirates. Nice free stuff. Mod idea, a mind control drone. I'm not sure how that would work. Sounds interesting though. This run has legs? Yeah, I'm like, I 
Honestly, I'm going to always complain about FTL because FTL is worth complaining about. But for a Zelton C run, this has been one of the better Zelton C runs we've had. I'm not doing great on crew. But I can't complain. It just never stops me from complaining. Good dodge. Hope the Ion Bomb is the plan here. Good fight. Did I really never save Silly Device on doors? Huh. You'd often take drones over my control and the reverse. Yeah, but I mean, you're better at being more flexible than I am, my Copley. But what I'll also say is mind control helps so much on no pause. Maybe I would dis um, drone control less if I played on pause because I feel like being able to move power in and out of systems and controlling crew by venting is a lot more manageable on pause. And when you are not when you are playing no pause, my control saves you from so many boarding uh, boarding um, fight. Damn it! This is not a great sector layout. I don't even know if I get this repair station. Do I go to the store? So maybe I should clarify. I think on Harbo No Pause, mind control is objectively better than drone control. Although there's probably a higher skill ceiling on drone control, maybe. Do mind control Zoltan still power your ship? I think so, yes. The smooth run systems for you are hack cloak mind control, yeah. It's what I call the max OP systems. Max OP-ness is having action club in my control. Like our Zeltan A run the other day. Yeah, I actually, I like my control. My control is really good for helping you crew kill. It's really good for... Um, like, lowering enemy dodges. But what I really prefer my control for is protecting you from stupid bullshit. Like Zeltan Border Police. Um, countering Lanius bomber boarding bullshit to some degree. Like, it's just its protection from some of the worst events in the game, I would say. When you can pause, you can sync up your drones with your shots somewhat easily, too. Hey, Tyler said, thank you for the 22 months of subage. Appreciate that, my friend. Oh, my God. Quadruple quintuple hit! If I weren't so overpowered, I'd be pissed off at this drone. That guy one-shot my Zoltan shield on his first back-and-forth volley. Go F yourself, FTL. Jesus Christ. I have to save my goddamn fucking for the... This bullshit. Jesus. I, I'm pretty sure that was five shots from the same Combat 2 drone in the same side of the ship. That is freaking rare. I hardly ever see that. F you, FTL. Mind control is just so good for phase three of the boss. It really is, yeah. What is that YouTube video? Um, oh, that's the modding thing. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was all five of my drone, uh, my Zoltan shields down from that. All right, we're going to do this just to guarantee we don't lose the repair. Oh, donation. Holy 50 bucks. DJ Baseline, thank you so much. And thank you for pointing that out. I didn't, I don't hear the, the things, the, uh, whatchamacallits. Holy crap, you're almost finished it off yourself. That is so generous, my friend. Thank you so much for that. And okay, now we can get value points. O2 for O2 hack. Piloting. Doors get one more potential scrap gain. That's a drone that ate his, ate his Wheaties, yeah. We had two empty jumps this sector. That sucks. That's an amazing donation. Let's make this happen. I really appreciate that. 
All right, so what are we doing? We're crew killing by shooting shields. If we get a weapon hack, a delayed weapon hack because of Zoltan shield, then we run. We're guaranteed a safe jump because we have three safe jumps. And it never takes over three at a time. But we're hoping to get a lot of crew kills in the shields. Sucks that I don't have my control to help with crew killing, but you know. I don't need doors either. I want to see who's in the shield room and time my shots correctly. Small bombs and things. Okay, annoying, but we deal with that. Wow. Zero fires and shields, and he double dodged my heavy laser? Fuck you, FTL. By the way... By the way... I'm gonna ignore that breach. Fuck that. You should wow, have zero guys. He dodged Damn. just enough for me to do zero fucking damage. Come on. Fuck you and your dodges, game. Okay, there's one crew kill at least. I'm not gonna be able to cloak the next missile. Oh, there we go. Actually, I am going to cloak it. Oh, I am gonna get to cloak it. Oh, Just in time. Dodges, Good job, Neo. Man. Good dodges. Still getting some pretty good crew kills, even with the really shitty luck we've had here. Oh, you got out. Damn. All right, uh, side room bug. Well, that guy's in that room. Nice. All right, not ideal phase one. Ideal would have been him not not dodging anything and us getting shit ton of fires. But I think we got at least four or five crew kills there, which is pretty good. You don't know if Streamlabs is doing bits in the cup. Streamlabs was acting funny earlier, uh, Bilbo. So if the bits aren't working on Streamlabs, I apologize. I think Streamlabs is having a bad day or something. Free cloak was tempting there, huh? Where's a fire drone where you need it? Yeah, that's what we need. All right, uh, last value point, sensors. Or do I want to save, or do I want to get a power? Now we have backup battery, let's get our value point there. Okay, we're getting, we need an anti-drone, anti-drone anti, uh, anti this phase. We have a boarding drone we have to deal with. Thank you for the 11 months, DJ Baseline, as well. What's the day of the Carol stream? Uh, exclamation point donate will tell you, but it's December 8th, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. It's a Friday. And if you miss it, I absolutely will do a highlight and a YouTube upload and all that. Yeah, and if you go over the goal, that'll pay me, basically. My my actual goal is, was it 350? 425, because that way I'd get paid the same that my fellow uh, singers will get paid, but that's just a bonus goal. I assume when we do the stream, people will be excited and we'll do bits and donations and stuff anyway. But I'm hoping to split that with my fellow singers when that happens. Like we would split tips at a gig. Okay, alright. Um... Okay, well, this works out decently well. Wow, big surprise. Oh, he dodged just enough it, for game. me to do zero What the damage. actual fuck? Fine, I want to kill this guy. That should be another crew kill. Beautiful. If I can kill the pilot, that would be another one, and there'd be one guy left. Uh, I hope I didn't just kill his entire crew. I don't think that guy finishes dying, so I think we're good. I think animation doesn't finish. Hopefully he's got exactly one crew left. So he doesn't become an AI ship. <laughs> um, You'll be in Sedona during the stream, but you hope to still attend. Sedona. There's a song called Sedona Arabelle or something. There's these... 
this indie band that sings a song about Sedona. I don't know where that is, but I hope you have a great vacation there. Heavy lasers are a thing of beauty. I love me and some heavy lasers. I hope he didn't finish dying. I did say that, didn't I? Yes, yes I did. Did you guys know that Little Christmas Tree by Michael Jackson? Do you guys know? Oh, does our group know that song? No, I don't know that one. Sorry, I'm not familiar with that Christmas song. Party in the drone room, USA. Okay, so yeah, how do we how do we deal with? Oh, this is gonna be the most annoying part of this BS thing. Um, it's in Arizona. Ah, oh, okay, you got married in Sedona. Nice. You say party in drone room? Yeah. Yeah, probably that. Uh, you can be on doors, and we tell you to move to sensors, I guess. And then whoever here is mind-controlled, we just leave him to beat on that while we slowly vent it. Or even maybe don't even vent it. Just let him beat on that system that's level 3 and I don't need it. Okay, I think, I think this is good. Okay, alright. Auto-fire, everything. Anything else I need to do? I think we're good. Yeah, just leave them in the drones. They can punch as much as they want with level 3 drone control. Yeah, I think you're right. I we I kind of hope they do that, even though that loses me a power. I kind of hope that's what happens, that somebody in there gets mind controlled. Okay, I need to remember to do this and actually delay it a bit. Is he slow? There we go. So don't know where the UFO cultists hang out. I thought that was um, Roswell, New Mexico. Okay, so he does have one crew. That's perfect. Oh, damn it. Delayed. It's going to be delayed. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to have this guy hang out in there and hope he's the one who gets mind controlled. Freaking delay. Zoltan Shield downside. Why? Where's Britna to tell us about shot. it? Oh, I hate this fucking game. <laughs> Okay, I can vent him, it's fine. Oh, fuck you with these dodges. What the F? Well, okay. Well, I deleted that human. A little faster than I meant to. Okay. No cloak for this. Come on. Death these by a thousand dodging missiles, man. man. Okay, that's good. Cloaking will be up. This looks like a smooth phase three, man. S super smooth. GG. No! GG, Zoltan C. Get this ship off my list, man. Houndstooth, yes. You have it on your playlist. It's a great song. Houndstooth. Good call, Shogi. Uh, what do you call someone that's coughing but isn't bothered by it? A serene cough. Serenkov. I don't know that reference. Is that a Russian word? Okay. Honestly, he loved that sound when we win, yeah. For his Elden Sea run, I cannot complain. Although we didn't break 5k. Really. You know what? That's probably not surprising. With how much of our scrap was free stuff. That is actually probably about right. Look at all that free stuff we got. That was a lot of free stuff. Oh man, feels good to get that run off, or that ship off the, uh, out of the way for the streak, because Zeltan C. Stealth B might be the one most likely to end a streak, but still, uh, Zeltan C is probably my least favorite to play. Oh yes, yeah, channel point payout. Thank you for the reminder. Choose outcome. Brand one. Rats on top of the ship out of your queue. Thank you. Appreciate it. Oh, the ship is called Serenkov. That's was that was what that pun was. My bad. So there you go. Hopefully some people made some good good bit money there. With Zeltan C, it's personal. That's right. It is personal. Because it's it's literally killed one of my two personal bests, I think. 
and other ones. So my friends, that is all I can, uh, all I'm going to be able to stream today. So we're going to call an early end because I got to go do Christmas caroling. Get some stuff done before that. So I hope you all had a good time. Uh, tomorrow we'll play some Hitman. We're, I think, getting close to finishing Hitman 3's campaign. So come hang out for uh, war crimes in the first person is what I would describe Hitman as. So uh, have a good gig. I appreciate it. Uh, as usual, I am going to end the stream with one final uh set of ads so if anybody wants to hang out watch those the sports stream that's always appreciated we'll be back with more ftl shenanigans to, uh next week i will say because i'm gonna start having gigs i will be missing some streams i will try to tell you all in advance but sometimes i might get last minute gigs or something so just be prepared for there be to be missed streams in the next month and a half but as always you all are amazing i can't wait to have my christmas caroler friends come and sing christmas carols with me on stream for you all awesome people but until next time, peace out, happy gaming, y'all have a great rest of your night. Thank you for all the support, and I will see you next time. You all have a great one. Later, my friends. We've played our games and we lost some too. We've raged a bit, but we fought right through. At the end of the day, we have learned something new. Grow, my trolley friends, grow. Hey ho, the streaming is done. We've tumbled doge and we've had some fun. The day's gone and the streaming is done. Let's take our salt and go. If you thought you could play much better than me, then play yourself. You'll feel better, you'll see. No matter now, we've made our peace. Let's go, my trolley friends, go. Hey ho, the streaming is done. We've tumbled doge and we've had some fun. The day's gone and the streaming is done. Let's take our salt and go. Hey ho, the streaming is done. We've tumbled doge and we've had some fun. The day's gone and the streaming is done. Let's take our salt and eat our cookies. Take our cookies home.